Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This one is a bit disappointing. Uh, a few days ago, I made a post uh, on my YouTube community page and on my Facebook page, and my Facebook group, that I'm gonna do a video where I would use the Pod Go to reamp acoustic DI tracks. And initially that sounded like a great idea, but then two things happened. First, I thought to myself, uh, how many of you are actually reamping your acoustic DI tracks? I mean, if you have a good acoustic guitar you're gonna record that you're probably not gonna mess with the di anyway so that's why i'm kind of reluctant to do it if you want info on this page 40 of the manual you have like half a page of instructions that explain how to do this but i think that they could have made it a bit more easier for people because so when it comes to routing it works one way for me in reaper it's gonna work a different way for someone in logic pro tools uh, cubase or whatever the second reason why i'm not doing is because the pod go interface the pod go as an audio interface is very sluggish and as soon as i start working with it and try to open up the preferences within the within reaper it's so slow and it's so slow to react and uh, if you know me you know that i can't have thin nerves so my suggestion is if you want to reamp your di tracks read the page for the setup to pod go and you're good so i'm sorry again but i really don't see a point in making this video peace